too big, they sumo. Pocket too big, they sumo. Pocket too big, they sumo. Money doubles up like a duo. I just want the yen and the euro. The game up and leave my kids like judo. Money come around like a hoover. Making free bands in the future. Pockets on the neck look super. Bills on me blue slot cope. Money in my mind just like a tumor. Spread my money out and then I call it a rumor. Curry the is on the move, no Uber. People try to block it, shine like Lunar. Eclipse, wanna take all my chips. Wanna pop off the like hummus, see them, uh. I come back with the, I'm a flip, uh. Money flow like a battleship, uh. Diddy the new, oh. Deal of a new. Giving out, like. Shack up the free, though. Anybody wanna be ET? Man, y'all can't see me. Out of my league, you pee wee. Pocket too big, Rakisha. Pocket too big, they sumo. Pulling car like Uno. Flip like Judo. You back to Kudo. You and her, no chance, you go. Pocket too big, they sumo. 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 Pull car like Uno. Flip like Judo. You back to Kudo. You and her, no chance, you go. Pocket too big, they sumo.
Tryna spend the whole M on some clothes Got a bonus, I sold out the show Got a like a pot on the stove Yellow AP on all of my I like when they wet on no toes Picture me riding around in that road I put some eyes on my wrist, it was wall Still ain't got time to with you And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Look at them, uh, how to make it in America, 
real day one ain't a lot of us mom worked two jobs it was hard for us me and sis made it out now she proud of us they ain't teach me how to rap in those private schools wasn't like my rich friends had a lot to lose less money less options a lot of rules so when that first deal came it was opportune and shawty got potential i scout that she say she in love but i doubt that maybe it's the to the clout i get love in the north i get love in the south yeah uh shawty claims she a feminist and her feminine girl you know that he average girl you know i'm a savage they gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans clean money i count stacks with these dirty hands do a show cut the rack with my new advance 50 bands 80 bands 100 bands i'm the american dream No money, now I'm in the best truck with a new honey. They said I wouldn't make it, I'm like, you funny. Laughing at my haters like, you dummies. The night is young, girl, what can you do for me? Six figures, five shows, big ballin'. Look, I'm very important. I took a break, had some things I had to get sorted. I might retire in my prime like I'm M. Jordan. Table dancing in Southampton. Use the glasses for banners. Be cooling out in the whip, but I done there every girl on my list. KD at the three, Jokovic with the racket. Phelps in the pool, I'm like, speak at the Masters. Girl, you know you a bad Girl, you know I'm a savage. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans. Clean money, I count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. I'm the American dream. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. Two teams that don't like each other much. One will go to Super Bowl 53 as we're underway in the 2019 NFC title game. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. First down throw for Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Back to throw, Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make this a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Try the end around. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, 
allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And there it works for a tackle for loss. Second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier than not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Greg Olson was the intended target. And now it's third down. They were trying to liven up this playoff game very early on. Pretty deep throw, but good coverage. I think they were counting on the defenders being a little tight, a little over-anxious early, and trying to catch them flat-footed and get a big play. Here we go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Newton. Looking deep downfield. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Wentz now on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. This is a Jai. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Now it's the all 
purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And flags come as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now wins. It's brought in left side by Tate. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And that'll bring up second down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him up. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-zip. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down is Newton. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Bird. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Come on now. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to be met at about the 43. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Do so. Throwing is Newton. They'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Newton on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. 
Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Second and ten, Newton again. He's going to air one out. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Again, Newton. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. There was one area that the coach emphasized in our pregame meeting. It was red zone offense. In a sense, I got from it, and I think you did as well. They weren't real happy with how they were executing previously. So they put a lot of time and effort into it because getting points is paramount. Doesn't matter what you do otherwise, don't leave the red zone without putting points on the board. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. Try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. 
Great 15, great 15. Working from the gun, Wentz. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Go, go. Here's a Ajayi. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big-time blitzer, but, boy, he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game. Now Wentz on third down. He's going to fire one deep over them. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So the yellow flag came out and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Newton to throw. His throw incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Cam's going to run the option right. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And a nice pickup as this one gets them to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. They run with a Jai. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. 
A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Twins. Aguilar has it. And he's going to have the first down as he's marked down just shy of the 20. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now it's a giant. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So after the run by Jay Ajayi, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Hey, hey, Wentz will try again on second down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Shotgun now for Wentz. And incomplete here on third down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Taking it about the 16. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here. A little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. The Panthers on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, Newton. McCaffrey with the first down and more. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. A shotgun snap for Newton. And his throw is incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Come on now. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Newton. Flush to his right. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. All that gets him is just a yard. And now it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and nine. From the gun, Newton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll start out on the ground with Sproles. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll be back with more in the NFC title bout after this. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Wins to throw on second down. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And they'll get him down here at the 23. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, and it's second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now wins. This complete left side to Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Throwing on first is Lance. Ertz has it left side. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Wentz. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. First and ten, here's Wentz, escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Nothing open downfield, he keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. He's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very well. You don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be a second down. Wentz now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he fires one incomplete. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that. But it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does, and that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, they're there for a reason. Kind of get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. From the gun on third down, wins. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Mario Addison in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Tackle made by K1 Short. A 
The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A gain of 39 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. this situation because the silver lining it took a sack on first and goal but that close to the goal line it still definitely hurts first down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back even further to throw it's wins his throw caught at about the five and he'll be brought down here at the three yard line so a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. A crucial there, penalty there. there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Throwing now is Wentz. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating there. He'll be hit and taken down. 21. Julius Peppers. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. And a kick by Elliott is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most half? Of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. To throw on second down is Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. 
And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now Newton on first down. Flush to his right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. Able to fight through one tackle. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage call it no gain on the keeper and it's going to bring up a third down the panthers on third down three for seven so far in this game this will be third and five To the run, Newton going to throw. Flushed out right, and he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he will take it across for Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Extra point try, good by Godot, and we are even at 10 apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. On first down, Wentz. Wentz over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Wentz now on first down. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. 
And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Into the red zone, wins. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Back to the air on second down. Wins. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. In for the score. And the Eagles have moved out in front. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days. Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Man, that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old-school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air... It almost turns into slow motion, and both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. The Panthers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and ten. Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Give him 30 yards there. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. On first down, Newton being chased out left. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. This is Newton off the play, fake to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. To throw is Newton. Trying to set up the screen and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. The 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. And the big boy, dare I say, he showed some athleticism there. Oh, without a doubt. And you know what else we saw on that play? Why they do more and more ball drills in practice. They want everyone proficient with catching the football and being comfortable because you never know when a big play like this will happen for a big man. Now, post-game locker room, does he get an extra drumstick? Hey, he was going to get that anyway. He may get the whole spread now. Yeah, put some gravy on there. <laughs> That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Out of the gun, Newton escaping the pressure right. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. He got 29 yards that time. I don't think what we just saw there was any surprise because when Christian McCaffrey came out of Stanford, we knew he was a threat running it and catching it. And anyway, trying for right, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And now running right through it. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. So after the INT, here's Lance. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now Wentz on third down. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. On line, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. 
All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Oh, design run for their wide out. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now this time he'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And that's incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. The Panthers on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is going to be third and 13. Back to throw. Newton. To the right side, and he's got more complete. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play. And facing a second and long. Everyone's got four. Four down. Gun, gun. Throwing is Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation... Throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. From the gun on third down, wins. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And on to the field. Here come the Panthers. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Hey, hey. 
Here's Newton now on second down. McCaffrey with the first down and more. So we got a traffic there, and that's complete. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Brandon Graham able to drop him for a loss of four. So after the sack here, second and 14. A shotgun snap for Newton. Polluting the pressure right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the... Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. No, oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. 30, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Wendell Smallwood, 101 yards. And the Eagles had six to their lead. A big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. I'll claim them. And an alley to run. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down, so hold the celebration. This one's coming back. The holding penalty and negates a good return as they'll start just past the 20. On first down, it's Newton. He's going to go deep for Funches. He's got a man complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A fantastic connection that time. Newton to Funches. 48 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On first and 10, Newton. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, here's Newton. Flush to his right. He's going to let it. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off inside the 10. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Time for a break. Back with more in the NFC Championship game after this. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Clear, 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 clear. 
Now they try the right side here. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of two. Now third down. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. That's pulled in at the 32. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it was a no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first down throw for Newton. Now a desperation. And this is taken in at the five. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Devin Funches. 36 yards, and the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. Gano the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So here we go, 45 seconds left, and things have boiled down to this onside kick. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. And as they take that knee, you can hear a pin drop in this stadium right now, partner. I'd say you could hear a pin drop except for one thing. You're hearing a lot of people on cell phones right now calling and saying, cancel my reservation because this crowd thought they were going to the Super Bowl. They had trips planned, hotels, reservations, the whole deal. That's all wiped out now. And for all these guys, whether you're a rookie, a 10-year veteran, there's no feeling like this NFC champs. And you feel like family. Never at any time do you feel more like family than when you're sharing the joy of being the NFC champs. And now everyone gets to say they're going to the Super Bowl. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.